think. I'm uh, the CEO of AFOA, Advanced Functional Fabrics of America. I'm also a professor of material science and electrical engineering at MIT. And so AFOA is a nonprofit. Um, our mission is to transform fabrics and to create a domestic capability in the area of advanced fabrics. What we're trying to do is, is take fabrics and turn them into highly uh, functional systems. Uh, take fabrics where they are today, which are pretty much sold and monetized as goods, and turn it into something that can really de uh, deliver services and high-value um, experiences uh, to consumers. The path to getting there really goes uh, for us through reimagining and delivering fibers that are highly functional, fibers that have devices in them, fibers that have the basic ingredients of technology, which are insulators, conductors, and most importantly, semiconductors, bringing those all together into a single filament and fiber and creating uh, the basis for a Moore's Law for fibers. Um, the organization is a nonprofit, and we were uh, started, initiated, and funded by the Department of Defense. We have significant funding from the state of Massachusetts, also from MIT, and from other universities and companies. Um, today, AFOA has approximately 120 member organizations, 20-some uh, universities, and quite a few startups, and then two types of companies, some that are involved in manufacturing and others that are focused on products, and obviously some that do both. So, first of all, I think uh, important to point out that fibers um, exist in lots of different products. It's not just apparel, uh, it is in upholstery, it's in cars, it's in composites, it's in tires, um, disposable fabrics, uh, napkins, uh, lots of medical products that involve uh, fibers and, and fabrics, filters for example, uh, for um, air handling systems or water filters also have uh, fabrics or, or fibers uh, in them. And so the first point is to say that there are quite a few industries that, could, that are involved in, in fiber-based products. So that also defines the scope of, of AFOA, really is to try to change and, and help transform all those different businesses and products into highly value-added um, you know, systems. Now, since our mission is really to develop a domestic manufacturing capability, we have essentially two types of companies that you know, are in our membership. The first are manufacturers, and with them, we typically are working on getting these new advanced functional filaments or fibers into their processes and into their products. So these could be companies that are making non-wovens, um, or companies that are making apparel or companies that are making maybe car seats, um, or companies that are making composites. With all of those companies, we are in, um, in fact shipping fibers and um, funding um, directed projects, which we call micro-awards, which essentially are, are um, coming to a company, for example, rope manufacturer, and challenging them or tasking them with getting an advanced uh, light emitting uh, fiber into one of their ropes for the purpose of producing a you know a light emitting rope or a communication uh, rope. Um, the purpose of a micro award is to demonstrate that our uh, advanced filaments and fibers can fit in and survive their process and that typically is an iterative um, process where we ship filaments they tell us uh, whether or not they worked and we then improve uh, both on the process side uh, as well as on the filament, on the base material side. The second category of companies are product companies. Uh, with them, we're working on product design. How do you take uh, a fiber that is advanced, that has um, significant uh, capabilities, that is now in a, in a fabric, and how do you create an exciting product out of that? And so, now, one of the things that we introduced is a, is a we're, we've built is a nationwide prototyping uh, uh, foundry or, or organization for rapid prototyping in advanced uh, in the advanced fabric uh, arena. Uh, one, one thing that I think uh, you, you know, people have recognized that prototyping is a barrier to innovation. 
Uh, companies typically have certain prototyping capabilities, but those are limited to the products they're working on. And what we've done is we've organized industry into a prototyping network, a shared prototyping network, where companies come to us, tell us what they're prepared to um, prototype, and we then uh, organize that and create a system that allows us to deliver rapid prototypes in the area of advanced fabrics. And that's something which is unique, and this is a, a nationwide uh, system. That lowers the barrier to innovation. It allows us to go from concept to working prototype in a very short period of time. Uh, what's amazing to me is how a nonprofit has been able to mediate this um, shared resource among different for-profits and basically get for-profits to participate in the system.